Hey guys, what's up? This is Roger Palomino, and this week's fighter is going to be Psy Master Phoebe. She's a very interesting card. What makes Psy Master Phoebe interesting is that she comes into play with two equipment cards. So we're going to get right into that right on the battlefield right now. So alright guys, here we have Phoebe right here. Psy Master Phoebe. She is a hero. She has 89 zeal. Her ability says quick stab. Whenever you win the battle, you can discard one equipment card called Talala and one equipment card called Tulalu plus one star to any other fighter on the battlefield. So let's see, these are her two equipment cards. You have, you have the Tulalu and the Talala. So let's see, Talala says, only a fighter named Phoebe comes into play with, with the card in your hand. And choose a card in a player's hand and remove the card for two turns. At the end of the second turn, return the card back to the card's own to the owner's hand. Once this card is played, remove it from the game. Okay, that's Talala. Now for Tulalu, we have only a fighter named Phoebe comes into play with this card in your hand. So that's what's gonna have. That's in general, most equipments are going to have that text that is going to have a condition first. So now for the second part is choose a fighter on the battlefield that blocked, negate the block and then also remove this card from play once well, in the game as well. So she's very interesting because she has control she, she could switch up from hand control or preventing someone from blocking or she can just go straight for the kill by chucking both these two cards in her hand. So let's try to implement each scenario real quick. So okay, so first off, she's on the battlefield right here. Alrighty. And now these are in her hand automatically. And now, for the sake of argument, he already has a card in his hand. So let's say she wishes to use, before she even rolls, she'll use this card automatically to stab that card. So this way, he can use that card automatically. And that card, this is just for example, he had to draw that yellow card. But just for example, she wishes to do that for two turns. So she's going to go roll first because she has 89 zeal and he has 45 zeal. And she rolls, ooh, a 10. Eraser rolls a 9. So he loses this turn. He flips the star. And now she, he draws and he drew dice doubler. So that's a new card in his hand. So now, Phoebe rolls a 6. Eraser rolls an 11. So she loses this turn. She draws a card, she drew that. So now it's been two turns since that card has been, has passed, so now that card's in his hand. Oh, that's bad. Five. So she flips the star, he draws a card, he drew power up. No, wait, she drew power up, excuse me. So, so she has two cards in her hands to prevent him from blocking this turn. So let's see, can... She get it. It's a nine. She rolled a nine. And a race is going to roll an eight. So he's going to block. However, she can use either or guard breaker or to the loot, but she'll use to the loot to stop him from blocking. So therefore, you can see the remove piles over here. He switches from defense to attack and he takes damage for that and he drew infiltration. This is her effect when she uses the equipments, because only she's able to use the equipments while these cards are in her hand currently. But let's say for the sake of argument, we want to showcase her actual ability. Okay, so let's pretend she didn't use those effects. So let's pretend that she still has these two cards in her hand. Phoebe rolls a seven, and Eraser rolls a six, but it's a block. So this is what we're gonna do. She's going to play Guard Breaker to prevent him from blocking. So he would have done this, but she prevents that from happening. So then, she's going to use her ability. Since she's won the battle this turn, he flips the star. And then she just dumps these two cards in the remove pile. And then he has he's forced to flip another star. This card goes at the bottom, since it's a yellow card. And he draws his card, and he drew super hard. So, generally, that would have been the game ender for Eresa. However, he drew a yellow card, so the match still moves on. But, you see, this gives the fighter Phoebe more options as a versus to, you know, the previous fighter, Tai the Samurai, who only, who, who only controls one equipment. And that's what Phoebe does. Thank you guys for watching this week's video of Sidemaster Phoebe. 
she's an awesome card very versatile and she's very fast so also be sure to check out our website on newerg.com because we also announced our brand new play mats that are available that are going to be available soon just not yet and also be sure to check out our facebook fan page or twitter or instagram and also our youtube channel also be very sure to subscribe to our channel for brand new content every bi-weekly on a thursday and i'll see you guys next week we're going to be talking about a very special character next week uh well sorry we're going to be talking about a special character in a few weeks with the, um we're going to be talking about a very special character on this coming week which is cassandra so be sure to check her out bye